Hello on this Friday. Uh, many of you saw the Northern Lights Wednesday night had a nice display, especially in northern Minnesota and then of course further north. Canada and uh, the Arctic is always where you really want to be uh, to see the most brilliant display and that Aurora Oval was pretty big. The more energy we get from one of those solar flares or a coronal mass ejection uh, and it lines up with the magnetic field of Earth, the uh, further south it can be viewed. So normally it's confined closer to the poles, but when we have a big energy uh, event like this, we did see it in northern Minnesota. So uh, this is really about the southern extent was the Twin Cities here uh, on Wednesday night. So some of you did see it even uh, outside of the metro area. If you looked, you'd see a green haze uh, up towards the north. We've had a few cold nights. We're now uh, in a much warmer trend, but 30 degrees the low yesterday. Teens in northern Minnesota, Hibbing was 13 degrees, but we have yet to have a hard freeze of officially in the Twin Cities, that 30 uh, is not quite the hard freeze, which is defined by 28 degrees. October 25th is the average date of the first uh, freeze, and we should have four of them under our belt at this point in the season. And of course, we haven't yet, at least at the airport. And uh, this is the latest since you got to go back to 2015-16 when we set some records for the latest freezes. Of course, we got to change those clocks back Saturday night to 554, the sunset tomorrow, but by Sunday, 4.52 will be the sunset. So back to those early uh, sunsets, dark winters. Here we go. Uh, some high clouds move in. We've got a ridge of uh, upper level warmth that's been moving in and that's uh, giving us a, a very mild weekend on the way. Also some wind today as that warmer air arrives. Gusty winds uh, over 20, even 30 miles an hour. So it's worth taking a look at how much power that would generate. About 929,000 homes, which is 40% of Minnesota's energy needs could be powered just today by the wind. So you combine that with solar and some other things and uh, you've got some pretty good energy. So as I mentioned, that upper level pattern, a uh, very conducive for warmth. We've got that upper level ridge that's gonna be with us through early next week, very mild temperatures, but then a Pacific storm system, big trough and cut off upper level low makes its way towards us and deepens as we head into late next week. And of course, we'll be wondering, rain or snow? Probably both. For Minnesota. So this is a side-by-side -side view of both the American and European models and they're coming into alignment now better with the track and also precipitation type. So we're gonna be on the warm side initially here which means rain and we could see some decent amounts of rain. Most of the models spitting out one to two inches of water equivalent here uh, late Wednesday into Thursday Friday. Uh, all three uh, European American and Canadian models but they do differ on how much cold air gets here how quickly as far as snowfall. Northern Minnesota is looking increasingly likely like they will see some snow, but you can see some big discrepancies. The American model most aggressive with snow that could even fall in the metro area. Uh, but even the European model gives us some snow by the end of that storm system. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes on that. Something interesting, something definitely to watch as we head through next week, of course. 56 today uh, into the 60s. Look at those temperatures this weekend. Could have three 60 degree days in a row if you've got some yard work to finish up or uh, just get outside and enjoy it because there is colder air coming regardless by next weekend. And uh, we'll start to see a few showers already here by Wednesday and that'll be a part of that bigger storm system that we're gonna be watching its track very closely.